Hey guys, it's Danny, and for today's 101, I am covering nutritional yeast. Now, nutritional yeast is fairly new to me. As a matter of fact, I only recently began experimenting with it because you guys requested a 101. So what the heck is it? Nutritional yeast, also known as Nooch, it has its own little nickname, is a deactivated yeast that is cultured on the surface of molasses. Now, it's not the kind of yeast that you and I are used to thinking of. It's not the type you would find in bread or pizza. It's actually not alive at all, so it doesn't rise. And while it is cultivated on molasses, it's not sweet at all. It has no sugar in it. The flavor is more of a cheesy, nutty, savory, umami profile but it has this uncanny ability to mimic cheese, and that's why it's become so popular with vegans and people who don't eat dairy. The way I've come to think about it is it's like a dairy-free option for Parmesan cheese. It also has a really strong nutritional profile, hence its name. It's high in selenium, zinc, folic acid, and B vitamins, including vitamin B12, which is a very important component um, to be added to the diet of people who are vegan and or vegetarian. It's also gluten-free, low in fat, and high in protein. As a matter of fact, two tablespoons has over six grams of protein. So that's a lot of protein in a couple tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Now, there's a lot you can do with nutritional yeast. You can sprinkle it on top of your popcorn for a cheesy, dairy-free popcorn flavor. You could sprinkle it on spaghetti, spaghetti squash, or pizzas, put it on your roasted veggies, or on a nice hot roasted sweet potato. You could even make a vegan pesto with it. And if you recall, in my Super Bowl video, I made a vegan queso dip. So there's a lot you can do here. And I am very curious to know, have you ever tried it? And if you have, what do you like to do with it? Please come down in the comments below and share. Now, if you guys want more clean and deliciousness, throughout your week, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure to head on over and follow me on Instagram, clean underscore and underscore delicious. You can also find me on Facebook, I'm on Pinterest, and I'm always over at cleananddelicious.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another 101. Mm. It's really kind of wild because it tastes like cheese, I mean, this is really a great option if dairy is not in your life. A cheesy, savory... Ready? Three, two. And why it, while it... Here we while go. It is. Cheesy, earthy, nutty, umami flavor profile. One more time. And B vitamins, including video... Ready? Mm -hmm. Three.